Hello YouTube, this is DVD Review Studios here, and today I shall be doing a very random kind of video recollecting on a strange discovery that I found. So, I live near some farmland, and while I was walking home, I found this ginormous box set of 007 DVDs on the wall near a farmhouse. There's a lot of context I need to obviously give with such a statement, but... This is so bizarre, I just thought it'd definitely be worth sharing, and obviously we can have a look at this 007 box set, which is termed as the Ultimate Collection. It includes basically all the original movies from the 60s up to, I think, the late 90s, if memory serves. The only Bond movie I've got in the collection is the movie Thunderball, which I bought when I was a lot, lot younger. Um, this is a DVD that I've kept since my childhood, and it's in okay condition, not the best in all honesty, but um, the disc is probably pretty badly scratched. But um, it's the only Bond film I've kept in the collection. I've had a couple of them here and there, um, mainly to, to name the two sort of prominent ones, really, that I've seen all the way through. Um, we have Casino Royale, which I very much liked. I had that in the collection for quite a while. It's just something that I felt I wasn't going to revisit, and so I got rid of it in an unhaul video a couple of years ago. And the only other Bond film I've really kept hold of in the collection, which I got rid of before um, I got rid of Casino Royale, and that was Quantum of Solace, which is literally like Amnesia the movie. I don't remember anything about it. Apparently it's some kind of sequel, um, to Casino Royale in, to a certain extent, but I don't really know too much about it beyond those words, so obviously correct me in the comments if I'm wrong by all means. Anyway, as far as the story goes, I, I did actually go back a couple of days ago and just film a little bit of footage to kind of give a visual of what I'm about to explain. So I walk home across a couple of farmland areas when I'm coming home from work, and as it was about to literally start raining, I decided to take a shortcut uh, it goes through a couple of houses, where there's a couple of farmland kind of houses, uh, across a couple of fields, and there's a large wall that kind of sort of follows you along as you <laughs> walk towards where I live. And on that sort of 20-30 minute walk, I just walked past the wall and found a big grey box, which I thought was maybe some luggage or something? That's how large this is, just to kind of give you an idea. Um, I can't really fit it all into shot properly, but it's pretty huge, put it that way. That's what she said! <laughs> I'm gonna actually open this up as I continue the story, but um, it's a pretty hefty box set. So, carrying this home, along with all my other stuff anyway, was an absolute chore. And I'm kind of glad that I did, obviously, for, for obvious reason. I've got a free Bond box set. Um, in the middle of nowhere, essentially. I have no idea whether or not this is something that someone has just dumped somewhere. Uh, f lost? Can, can you lose a massive box set of 007 films on the middle of a farm? This was one hell of a discovery anyway, something that I am still kind of puzzled by. I don't really know what to make of this. I mean, uh, I'm glad I found it for one thing. If I'd left it in the middle of nowhere, it would have just kind of got ruined in the rain, if nothing else. So uh, I guess it's gone to a good home, and uh, I am going to try and watch through these, or at least as many as I possibly can. Um, I, I don't really know too much about whether or not there's any sort of hit or miss kind of Bond films that should be avoided at all costs. Again, I guess let me know in the comments if there's anything I need to know if I'm going to start this kind of binge and just go through these movies, but... Uh, beyond that, anyway, um, it's just been a really strange find. So, uh, I'm definitely intrigued to go through these films more than anything. I'm going to show them off on the channel now, uh, and go through them just one by one to show the individual DVD sets that are included. Um, but there are 20 movies in here in total, um, for, uh, four stacks of five, obviously. Uh, so, I don't even know if these are in chronological order. They look to be. I know Doctor Knows the first one from 1962. So uh, I'm going to actually check a, a list online, put these in order, uh, or at least if they are in order anyway, just go through them, but let's see anyway, and uh, we'll take it from there. These tabs are definitely very useful for actually removing these DVDs from the box set. And here is the outside box set, which is pretty plain, a bit scuffed here and there, but can't complain really for obvious reason. Logo is the same as there on the top, pretty plain on the back, 15 logos there on the corner. And here is the inside box set with some nifty bits of artwork and images there in black and white from some of the various films. 
And this just opens up from the side like this, and then you can let you just layer the films in there however you wish. And again, pretty plain on the back, nothing really noteworthy. Luckily these were all pretty much in order for the most part, although looking through a list online it looks as though I'm missing a movie. Um, it's a film between Octopussy and A View to Kill uh, from 1983. It's a Sean Connery Bond film, Never Say Never Again. No idea why I'm missing that one, whether it's included in the set, I'm not too sure now. Um, I'll have to look into that, or if anyone knows, by all means, drop me a comment for sure. Um, but without further ado, anyway, let us go through the movies. So we have first up Doctor No. I have actually seen this film a very long time ago. I enjoyed it for what it was, the iconic sort of opening scene uh, where Bond introduces himself is something that has kind of stayed with me over the years. And these DVD sets, they're pretty nifty. They're all two-disc editions, marked as Ultimate Editions, I guess, in, to coincide with the box set itself. So there's your two discs, the feature on disc one, and the bonus features there on disc two. And then they each come with a little booklet as well, and considering I just found these on the side of the road, as I'll keep terming it, th this was absolutely phenomenal in terms of the condition. The, the discs are pretty much spotless. Um, I've not come across anything that's damaged or anything like that, so uh, overall I'm just really, really impressed by all of this. It's pretty amazing, to be honest. Um, so that's Doctor No. I'm intrigued to give that one a rewatch. And then the rest of these, for the vast majority, apart from really just Thunderball, um, I've never really seen any of them before. So next up we have From Russia with Love, another Sean Connery Bond film. Same again. I won't do this for every single one, but another two disc with a booklet included. Next up is Goldfinger. Next up is Thunderball, another Bond film I'm looking forward to revisiting. Again, I don't really recall too much about this movie specifically, but um, it'll be interesting to revisit. And I guess for comparison kind of purposes, I can show the original DVD set compared to what these are like. So the main kind of difference is, obviously it's a two-disc set, um, but the logo on this one is a nice shiny kind of silver, whereas the single disc variation is just a matte finish on the 007 logo. And then the back covers are different as well, along with this kind of sticker I crudely stuck on there when I was younger. But um, yeah, and otherwise uh, these clearly are the kind of superior editions if you were looking for any Bond DVDs in particular, um, for the extra content that is included, thankfully. You Only Live Twice. I think there was a Simpsons episode that parodied this particular film. Ingenious, isn't it, Mr. Bond? On Her Majesty's Secret Service, where we take a break from Sean Connery as James Bond, with George Lazenby taking the role. He looks very plasticky there on this image, very strange, but um, yeah, there you go. Sean Connery makes a comeback in Diamonds Are Forever. Now we jump to Live and Let Die, with Roger Moore taking on the role of James Bond. The Man with the Golden Gun, another Roger Moore Bond film. And then we have The Spy Who Loved Me, again, Roger Moore. Next up we have Moonraker, which I've heard very good things about. One of the few kind of Bond films I'm really intrigued to check out from the ones that I don't really know too much about. So that's Moonraker. For Your Eyes Only. Octopussy, A View to Kill, The Living Daylights with Timothy Dalton now as 007 himself. And then he continued into License to Kill. And then we have Pierce Brosnan taking on the role with Goldeneye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World is Not Enough, and the last film, which uh, I was kind of surprised about, this was from 2002 with Halle Berry in this as well. Um, and that is Die Another Day. This film was far more recent than I really anticipated, which is kind of surprising. But um, once again, another two disc set, just like all the others with the booklet included there. And that's going to wrap up the Bond collection. 
So thanks for checking out my brief unboxing of the James Bond Ultimate Collection. I hope you did enjoy. Apologies for this video being kind of vague as far as the actual movies are concerned. I'm intrigued to check out these films regardless, but obviously knowing very little about them doesn't exactly help when doing a video like this. But um, by all means, if you have any recommendations for films in particular I should jump to before others, uh, then please do let me know in the comments. I'd be more than intrigued to hear your thoughts and opinions on these films. And if you want to see a follow-up video in the near future once I have checked out these movies, then let me know as well. Uh, perhaps that'll be something I can kind of aim for as a goal, maybe, to complete watching these films and then maybe feedback my thoughts on the whole collection in general. And anyway, as far as anything else goes, please do leave a like down below, drop me a comment, and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, DVD Review Studios, for more upcoming videos. Are you threatening me?